Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. From the channel TV dial pointing a little to the right newsroom, it's the after dinner time news on this middle of the month day in May. I'm Bernard Boucher. We begin the broadcast with election news, where the race between Mary Lewis and Ronald Jackson is proving to be too close to call. Election officials have begun the Plan B process of lining the ballots up end to end. Results should be determined by next summer. Officials are being extra cautious this time around, as they do not want a repeat of the U.S. election fiasco. In local news, a town located a day's walk south of Wichita was struck by a category super super twirly tornado. The winds were very 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 strong, causing severe damage. An eyewitness managed to capture this video all while placing an emergency WXYZ key, top left key, top left key phone call. Hello, operator. I'm at the side of Gun Mill Highway, and I think we got the problem. Hell! Other local residents say it will take until the end of the growing season to rebuild the town. And now Dan Duggan with sports. Thanks, Bernard. In hockey, there was controversy as Montreal Canadiens captain Guy Pierre scored the game-winning goal last night against the Detroit Red Wings. The goal occurred just as the last grain of sand fell through the hourglass. League officials had to examine whether the last grain fell before or after the puck crossed the goal line. Thanks, Dan. In entertainment news, acclaimed actor and star of the action series Tough Mission parts Line, 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 and Line, 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 Bob Gibson celebrates his birthday today and is the age of a horse lifespan. He says he's fit and will continue making movies until he reaches Sea Turtle. As well, singer Kim Moore, whose latest song All Hand Fingers Minutes in Heaven, jumped from straw to gold position on the music charts, turned Cat Chicken Chicken today. It is now later than before, and we are ready to join Joanne for the latest weather forecast. Thank you, Bernard. Tomorrow it will be warm enough to go outside with no jacket, but perhaps too cold for shorts and a t-shirt. In the bottom part of the weather map, you can see rain, and oh dear, it looks as though Wichita should brace themselves for some more bad weather. Back to you, Bernard. Thank you, Joanne. We have just learned that a Mexican woman has given birth to several babies. Each of the babies is about the size of a small pineapple. While it's not uncommon for a woman to give birth to a baby and to another at the same time, this woman gave birth to a baby and another, and another, and another, and another, and another, and, another, and finally to another. And now, for those wondering if they've joined the ranks of those overflowing with money, here are the results of today's lottery. The winning balls are red, red, blue, 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 yellow, green, and white. The prizes will be awarded until no more money is left in the pot. They can be claimed at the Orange Building on Main Street between the park and the hospital when the sun is at its apex in the sky. Yes, I won! Ha ha ha! I quit! I quit! Ha ha ha! For all of us at Channel TV Dial pointing a little to the right, good night. And have a pleasant tomorrow.